Well, you know, way, way, way back a long, long time ago, people used to notice that if they took a dead cat and if they rubbed it on a rod, like a plastic rod or a rubber rod or some hard material, something weird happened. Things began to get real staticky. Now, what I have here on the table, I have two pith balls. Now, pith balls are just little cork-like things. And you'll notice that right now, um, nothing much happens. They just sit there and they sort of bob around, you know, and they don't do much of anything. But if I take this cat fur and if I rub it on this rod real hard and then I bring it over here and touch those balls, all of a sudden, look at that. Things are starting to stick to each other. Oh, and look at there. Wow. Isn't that cool? Look at that. They must not like that rod very much. And you can see them jumping around and moving. And then one of them pop back and forth, wrapped around each other. Now, you see what's happening there? They're sort of stuck together now. Watch this. Suppose I take a piece of glass and I rub it on some silk and I bring it up there. And notice that there's a little attraction for it. A little attraction. But you remember when I brought this up, it was repulsion. So we know there's two kinds of charge, two kinds of charge. And, and some kind of invisible force is going on there that pushes them apart. And that invisible force is called an electric field, an electric field. Now, let me, let me show you that if I touch it, if I put my hands on it, and, and then I bring this up, nothing happens. Because see, what happened was we're moving those electrons around, and when I touched it, all the extra electrons that I put on those pith balls came to me. And if I got enough of them, I'd get shocked. But this is just a, a little tiny bit of electrons. So let's do it again. I'm going to bring this up here and touch the two pith balls with the rod that I rub on the cat. And now we got them all charged again. And you can see that once I get them charged, it takes a little bit to rub all those electrons off on there. But once I get them charged, then they'll start repelling each other. And start repelling the rod. And you can see that's happening now. 